so yeah, so just for this, you know, it's your, it's your first attempt at doing this. <laughs> it is, yeah. So <clears throat> we're going to, the lesson theme is Crossroads, dealing with Crossroads. And I'm going to be playing your pupil who is a learner. Mm-hmm. And it's a new topic. So prior to this, I've done T-junctions. You've helped mm-hmm. me do T-junctions. So I've, I've emerged, I've approached at T-junctions. I know my routine, MSPSL. Mm-hmm. You've even taught me about larder, peep and creep. I know about open junctions, closed junctions. So everything you'd want to do to cover with a T-junction, I've already done. Okay. And now we're just going to raise the bar, introduce something new, and introduce the crossroads. And we're on a quiet residential area, and we've just had a look at a route, haven't we? We've just sort of gone round. Where we, don't, <laughs> yeah. don't, don't worry about trying to remember that route. Uh, yeah. Because um, I can help you with that. Um, but what we want to do first is have a little briefing about the rules of crossroads. How I'm going to recognise them. Because as we just drove round, some of them were quite hard to see. Like, we are now looking at one that's hard to see there's no warning signs no. it looks like a lovely straight road in a 30 limit but we know behind that blue park car and before that bus stop is a junction on the right and we, we can see the one on the left but that car is emerging from now and he's just gone ahead like oh there's a cross wheel but look <laughs> if we took a picture of that and said to someone spot the crossroads well you just look at it wouldn't you and go well they're in one no. If that blue car moved, then we'd see it just, wouldn't we? We'd just, just sort of be able to make it out. And now we've got a car emerging, just emerged out. Now we think, all oh, right, okay, all oh, right, yeah, there must be a junction there. Look, that's the crossroads. So this is kind of, yeah, recognising, identifying crossroads is kind of a key learning aim for mm. this. Um, knowing the rules, who's got priority, is is key. And then how to interact with other traffic. Like there's a bus coming, so now we know we're on a bus route. And well, you know, how would I interact with that? If he's turning, he might flash me or, you know, so there's lots of different scenarios that could come up when we drive this. Mm. And the purpose of the briefing is to try and give them a heads up, discuss the likely things, the, the main rules, like priority and recognising them and what to do. And then he's got a fair crack, hasn't he? The people sort of like, all right, now I know the rules of the game. I can at least now participate and play it without doing something stupid mm. and stopping when I shouldn't and getting rear-ended. Or going when I should give way and, yeah, having a, like, having you press the brakes. <laughs> I'm just going to shoot across the front page. Yeah. So, this, you know, so we want to do this safety briefing because... Yeah, your pupil doesn't know, do they? How do you know what they know? Because, well, no. I haven't done it before. So, this, and that's the bit we're just going to do here. We're going to do the briefing. Um, and if you for, if you miss something out mm. that I think, oh, that should be in there, I, as the pupil, I just say, well, can you can you tell me about priority? Like, like if you, I can just steer yeah. you. But obviously, by the time you're doing this independently with pupils, your pupils are not steering you, are they? No, they're, no, no. They're just going to sit there and nod and go, Right, okay. <laughs> if you miss something glaringly like like big, a massive point, then then you're just going to have to deal with it and the consequences at the crossroads if they do something silly. Yeah, basically. So um, so a lot of this is like almost you want a crystal ball. You know, you want to think, well, what could a what's the potential risk at this scenario at this crossroads? What could my people do? What could happen? And you're trying to just give me a, like I say, a heads up. So at least when it happens, I go, oh, you know, I know. Yeah, you explain that. I, yeah, I get that. Yeah. You said the bus might flash me and he, he's just done that. Yeah. And I'm going to hold back here and let him in because there isn't enough room for him to turn. And what I've just done is really good. Mm-hmm. Rather than me sense. going up and the bus getting grumpy, the bus driver getting grumpy and like, oh, no, no, he's, yeah, now we've got to reverse because he can't get in and all of that shenanigans. So, um, you know, pre- a briefing is to deal with prevention, isn't it? It is. So we don't go and do that thing. Because if, if that happens, your poor old people lose his confidence and they just go home thinking, 
Yeah, I'm rubbish. I can't do it. I just, oh, I make so many mistakes. My driving instructor must think I'm a right idiot because I make all these mistakes. Well, with a good instructor, those mistakes wouldn't be happening. And mm. the people would be going home saying, do you know what? I'm getting on really well um, with my driving lessons. Everything's making total sense. My instructor's really good. He explains things to me. And they're going to tell their friends and they're saying, well, my, my instructor's not like that. He shouted at me the other day because I did something stupid and I cried. And then he got all, you know, think, do you know, I want your instructor. Mm. And that's what happens. People talk and they 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 just want a good experience, don't they? Well, they like do. If you went out for a restaurant, you want a good experience, didn't you? You, you want do. it right. You do, yeah. And, uh, and that's what your pupils want at the end of the day. And that's what we're here to do, sort of look at that and build, you know, sort of see where you are and build on it so you can be that great instructor. Mm, so then it'll be yeah. flocking towards <laughs> you and um, having a good lesson. Hopefully, yeah, that, that's the plan, that's the that's aim, the yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, you, you, like I say, here's your first briefing on this. So, um, and I'll be your people who's, like I say, I've done the T-junctions and... Um, and now we're adding the new road. Okay. Let's do it. And I know about MSPSL. Great. And all the stuff I should know about a T junction. So open, closed, stop signs, give way signs, done all that. Right. Keep and creep, know about it. Larder, got it. But I might forget, I could get things in the wrong order or forget things, and I'm just gonna be like a, a you know, a typical people who's not uh, if I did, was to do a test on everything you've taught me, like a written theory test, I'd probably get about 80%. I can probably retain 80% of what you've told me, but of course I can forget things. I'm not... Of course. It's well, all new to me. Not, well. you know, so I, I don't, you know, allow me to forget things and fill in the gaps where I have. Definitely, I'll do my best. All right, cool. Okay. So, yeah, let's... I'm just going to more wind a little bit more. Yeah, it's a bit sleepy. It's a bit, a bit warm, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so yeah, when yeah, let's give it a go. Let's okay. do a little briefing. Cool. Mm. All right, Howard. Um, so, how you doing? Well, I'm all right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I gotta get into the mind frame of it again. So, last week we covered uh, T junctions, if you remember. Yeah. So we're gonna do something. Should I turn that off. Yeah, please, if you could. It's got a mind of its own. It, it does. Sorry, I do apologise, but I honestly thought this was an aeroplane mode, but for some reason it's getting absolutely nuts. Is it yours? It is mine, I think so. It's off now, so it's not going to be doing anything. You know, I thought it's mine for a minute. <laughs> I'm I just I going thought. nuts. It's an aeroplane mode, so I have no idea what's going on. Okay, so, uh, last week we covered uh, T-junctions, if you remember. Yeah. And we, went, we, we covered quite a lot of information there. So today we're going to do something really, really nice and new. We're going to do crossroads. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. So, I would say, if you think about a T-junction, okay. Yeah. A T-junction, oh, well, a crossroad is a T-junction with an extra road. Of course, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's that simple, just, just take it off. So, I'm just going to ask you, looking ahead, where where is the T-junction? There's one there. Fantastic. And where would the crossroads be? On this road, there isn't one. Well, there that's isn't. a T junction. That's a T junction. There's a T junction up. Is that a T junction on the left? It's a bit further up. There's, I think, there's a road on the left. There is. A, do you think there's a road opposite to that one? Um, no, I don't think so. Well, surprisingly, that is a crossroads right there. Oh right, okay. You wouldn't be able to see it though, would you? No. No, it don't look like one. No, it doesn't. No, no, they, they can be not seen. Oh, where the white car is. Yeah, so it's coming out of the crossroad there, and just like magic, it disappears. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, right, okay, Into yeah. another See, road. And another one's come out. Uh, exactly. Right, yeah, so there, there is a crossroads. There, there is a crossroads, yeah. All right. It, it's not me performing magic, making it disappear into <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah. So, we are, if we were to look at this little, uh, my little picture here, uh, yeah. my fantastic drawing, we are, I'd say we're somewhere down here. And what we're going to plan to do today is we're going to go past this crossroad. So looking at this picture, if we were here, if I draw a little car here, yeah. who do you think would have priority on this road? Well, I'm going ahead. Yeah. Um, I would. You would, yes. 
And what if we had a... I'm gonna mix it up. What if we had a car waiting here? Would we still have priority? Um, would if the car's there, would I have priority? Yeah, because we're here, the other car's there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it doesn't change. There's just a car there instead. Now, what about if we were this car? Then I'd wait. You'd wait, fantastic. All right, let's... How do I know that? How do you know that? Because we were covered in the last lesson. Oh, ah, here we go. How would you know that? I've got it, I've got it. So how would you know if... How do you know to give way to the right? What did we learn last time? How would I know to give way to the right? I gave you the answer. Um, <laughs> no, no. Just out of roll. Yeah. Okay, you, there's a, some assumption here. I've answered your questions and I've mm. got them correct. Correct, yes. But to check understanding, how do I know who's got priority? How, what, from that picture, how do I know that? How do you know that? Well, we would have learned always to give way to the right. Do we? I don't know. I've not had a, <laughs> maybe a roundabout. Okay. But, um, I always think of junctions are the same but way. If how look at that picture what is on that picture that oh the giveaway me? lines yeah road markings road and mark. signs. A, a sign of course i understand that's how i know that so you've asked me a question yeah i've got it right it's 50 feet i could have got it wrong but how you know the the understand is how how what how are you judge it how do you know that? and i would have said well because there's giveaway lines i see the way you think of that. That makes sense, and it, yeah. And that, it's that detail. Do we just want to make check? Okay. Yeah, you know, how does he know that? Well, it's the lines. Because I have done this, you're right, I've yeah. done this last week, I should yeah. know that. Exactly. And so we're just confirming it. Don't uh, know that. I understand, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And and just while I'm out of roll, there's no, on approach to this, there's no warning sign. No. For a crossroads. So bring and that there's up. No, because that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, well, if there's a crossroads, surely there'd be a wall in trying. Mm. But there isn't. No. Why not? Why, 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 why? why isn't there? <laughs> so, um, so that might, could be explored. Why isn't there a sign there? Because mm. like, we've shown you that road later, there will be a sign. Do you remember that yeah, one? Yeah, the, the one was the... Sign? Yeah. And, uh, but this one there isn't. Well, why do some do and some don't? Ever thought of that? No, I, I don't know why. Why do some yeah, signs and some they don't. put warning signs up in high risk sites? Of course they do, yeah. And um, so, has if you think about it in <coughs> the UK, has every bend got a warning sign for a bend? No. Has every crossroads or T junction got a warning sign? No, only ones where there um, are more accidents. Why not? Why haven't all of them got it? If some have got it, why don't they all? Why don't they just say, well, put them on all of them then? Well, I'd love to say budget, but that's clearly well, not no, the that reason. Well, no, that is. Your taxes are going to go... I mean, imagine how many signs they'd have to requisition uh, in the UK. Yeah, they, every be bend and every junction must have a sign. They'd be like... And now there'd just be signs everywhere, wouldn't there? There would be and a lot of signs. And people wouldn't see the signs because they're just everywhere. You just They're in plain sight. You don't know. Really so when we see a warning sign, it's like, oh, do you know what? Why have they put that there? Because there's been accidents. Hmm. Because that's where they spend their budget. Of course. Because they don't throw their cash away willy-nilly, do they? No, no, they can't, no. They just think, do you know what, there's a lot of accidents or maybe fatalities at this junction. Do you know what, we need to put a sign up there or slow on the road or more road markings. Or even if it's really dangerous, we'll put a stop sign in. Or later, we'll put traffic lights in. You know, if it's a real... I see. Do you know what I mean? That's it escalates to money, money, money to, like to reduce risk. I see. They throw their cash at the dangerous ones, whatever. So this is why some will and some won't. See, I view this this boss as a good teaching point as well. So the way I could view it is we could now talk about buses putting in and where you'd wait, because you yeah. can see the bus getting Because we've put in a, there. a really good front row seat for this subject, because as yeah. you'll brief me there, you could actually say, oh, look at that bus. Oh, yeah, he come wide, didn't he? Wow, yeah. what did you do? So this is, exactly. this is why I've put you here to, this is how we can make our, you know, 
make our briefings more interesting mm. um, because we can look at what we're about to do. So it kind of makes it a bit more topical. If you did this in like outside my house and then drove me 15 minutes to this area, you want to save your brief until you're on, <laughs> on, on your training area. You do. So like now we're going to start to do it. Yeah. Okay. Right. So um. So I, I, I'm gonna we we'll go back into roll. Mm -hmm. So you just so we flow uh, naturally. You just yeah. asked me. Well, how do I know about priority? And I'll, okay. I'll tell you why I think I answered that way. Okay. So I'm back in roll. So how, how how would you know to give priority? Well, because you got the give way lines mm. on the road there. And coming this way, there aren't any. So these these cars give way, and if you're here, you can go through. Is that right? Yeah, spot on. Yeah. And cool. you see, we've got signs here. Oh yeah. Would it be the same rules if the signs were there and if they weren't there? Let's just say on on one on one junction, there's no sign, and the other one there is a sign. But would that make a difference? If there's no sign and you've got give way lines, you still give way. Fantastic, That's yeah. we did like last week, because some had yeah. signs and some didn't, didn't they? Yeah, they remember correct, that, yeah. correct. And if we're looking straight ahead, we we already covered that we can't see a crossroad, can't, can we? We can't see a crossroad at all. Yeah, yeah exactly. But is there a sign to tell us there's a crossroad? No, they should put like a, a warning triangle up there, shouldn't they? I mean, do you think it would be good for taxpayers and, and, and you know, if there were, were signs absolutely everywhere, would you pay as much attention if there were signs absolutely everywhere on the road or would you start ignoring them a little bit? Yeah, no, I see what you mean. Yeah, if they put signs everywhere, you'd probably just... There'd be too many signs, wouldn't there? There would be a lot of signs, wouldn't there? Because you'd have a warning sign before this junction on the right, then another warning sign for crossroads. And however... Uh, that, yeah, if yeah. there's more junction, there'd be signs, 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 Yeah, I know, yeah, it makes sense, yeah. So what do you think signs mean then? What, why do they go through the effort of... Let's just say we're travelling down this road and there is a sign warning of a junction. Why have they done that? Is it... Mm. Maybe because it's more of a... Oh, I think that's... I can't I, I my tell phone, what's my phone is off. Our roll. My phone's in there on charge and I think it's just getting a disconnect. So it's like on and off the charge. So it was on low battery and I'm just trying to charge it up and that is what's happening it's come on and off charge so I just leave it off charge and that's what it's doing it's not your phone at all can you not um, if you switch it off and put it on charge it will charge without vibrating so rather than me touch your knees can you just actually not I'm going to do it anyway <laughs> just get it on there I've turned it into there right because it is like I just need it to charge up a little bit. If it does it again, I'll just disconnect it. Okay. It's a shame that the uh, MMI ports on the glove box. It's really annoying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> should be down here, shouldn't it? it if you would. have a nice big car like yours. No, my nice. MMI is in the glove box as well. Oh, yeah. All all Audi's MMIs on the glove box. <laughs> I don't know why, but they are. <laughs> Anyway, back onto topic, I guess. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. So, um, so yeah, signs, signs. Yeah. So, why do you think there would be a sign there? So we're driving down there, and over here is a sign. It, 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 it'll be very big, like this. You can imagine it'll be, and it'll have two little things like that, and that would be, and it would be an upside down triangle. So, why do you think that sign would be there? What, what purpose would that sign be there for? So it'd be an up, when you say upside down, explain like pointing down. Yeah. So um, I'll draw. I'll draw better. So well, I thought warning signs pointed up. Triangles. Yeah, I've been revising my highway code. Warning signs pointing. Um, I think the other way around. Oh no, but you you must be right because that give way signs pointing down. Yeah. Oh, I must. I'm, I must. Am I losing my up. my brain? My 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 mind's not working yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm right, aren't I? I'm right. It is like that. Is that? Isn't it? Have you got a hardware code? On me now. Have a look in that book. They've got a load of warning signs. They do have a load of warning signs. Can you show me that sign? Am I am I losing my mind? Have I done this wrong? Well, you'll see in a minute. <laughs> Don't say that. Um, page award. Well, take that page. Am I... What does that sign mean? 
That's a warning sign. Yeah. So what sign? Why did you draw it? I drew it the wrong way around, didn't I? So how, how do you think? And look at all these warning signs all pointing up. One earth give. So it's a giveaway that's getting you upside down. No. Yeah. Yeah. So like, there's a triangle pointing down with the word giveaway in it. Come back one this page. What's that one? Would cover up that? So what's that one mean? Oh, it's, it's, it's it. also a giveaway. Yeah. So why why are those uh, two the wrong? Because they give ways. They specifically did it so they give ways. Why do you think they done that? Um, well, so people always know it's a giveaway. It, yeah. It's it's deliberate. It's deliberate to make sure every single it person stands knows. out, doesn't it? It's because I was looking at the giveaway signs and confusing myself. That's purposely confusing so myself. So you've just got confused with that. Do you think your pupils might get confused with yeah, that? Yeah, hundred percent. In fact, instead of drawing it, I may as well just go onto this page and show. So you this that is side. why this page over there is such a, a like a basic when you when you're teaching your learners that warning signs, orders, information. Yeah. So negative order, positive, positive order, order, information, warning, mm -hmm. information. They can get that down. Now, if you put a cycle in. Either of those, so you've got a triangle pointing up, yeah. a round circle, and a round blue blue circle. If you put a cyclist in each one of those, a little picture of a cyclist, that's got three different meanings, isn't it? It does, yes. No cyclist, this is where cycles go, cycle path, warning cycles. So that's fundamentally, your pupils need to know that. Of course it is. So yeah. they're, they'll expect their instructors to be like, knowing that, like, because that is like, I just want to use myself, it's so yeah. easy. Level, entry level <laughs> it one. Is, it is. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I just... I she knows. Yeah, no, no, it's... it's um, I so, know, yeah, I, so I, I deliberately so, confused so you, myself you for no got reason. confused because you're seeing that picture of a giveaway pointing down, so you draw the warning sign matching that, and it's that, that sign just doesn't exist. No, it doesn't, it, it doesn't at all. There it is now, look. But it would have been easier if i just gone and shown them that sign, because it saves me having to do the drawing as well. Well, yeah, well, no, just to understand that you you need to pass that on to your pupils so they understand signs. Mm, definitely. Because if I see a round sign for cyclists, um, I'd just be like, oh, that's a warning for a cyclist. Well, no, it means no cycles. So I could, you know, get it wrong, couldn't I? You could get it wrong, yeah. Which is why we go through fundamentals of signs. Uh -huh, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. So, um, okay, so, yeah, so sign, that's a, yeah, signs. Road marking signs is the basic way your pupil is going to understand to identify crossroads and to understand priority, isn't it? That's mm. what signs and road markings do. Correct. And that, yeah. Yeah. And so that's a fundamental part of, of this lesson, just the basics, isn't it? Just getting your pupil like with the basics. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, crossroads, points out. And then you could ask them, ever think why the give way points down? I'd be like, oh no. Because your pupils, just like the conversation we had, they'd be like, oh why? Ah oh, yeah, they're different. If snow gathers on it, on a down triangle, the snow will slide off quicker, wouldn't it? It would. resistance. And if I had low sun, or I just can't see it, because again, if snow's on it, just from the shape of it, I will know what it it means because there's only one sign shaped pointing down and that's a giveaway. So if the road markings are covered by snow or a new road surface, I'll be like, I've got a giveaway here. Mm. It's not a warning cycle for a warning sign for cyclists, so I could just ignore it and just plow on ahead. It's like, ooh, give way. Right, better better give way here. So um that's that's what we're getting through. Yeah, of course, it makes perfect sense. So, yeah. so there you go. Yeah. Well. All right, so... Um... Yeah, yeah, okay. Going yeah. back into roles. So Going we've covered road markings and signs. Yep, cool. We've, we've got that. So right. it's back yeah. to junction, isn't it? Back to you. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So I understand. So if there's a warning sign, points. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So if we're going, as we covered, if we're going straight ahead, we'd have road priority, correct? Yeah. Now, now, early on, do you remember we were sitting and we saw a big old bus turning there? Yeah. Do you remember what the bus had to do to get into that junction? So, if I drew... It swung out. It, it did. So, we had a very big bus. 
and it swung out. So if the bus was swinging out to come in here, where do you think its positioning would be? I mean, why don't, why don't you draw it? Why don't you draw where you think the position of the bus would be? If it was coming into here. What, if we went in here? Yeah, so th that big bus. So it's gone like that, has it? Yeah. So it's come in and just gone like that. That's what you should do, isn't it? Yeah, it should. He shouldn't go on the other side of the road. He should, but he's very big, isn't he? Do you think the bus, this very long bus, would be able to do that manoeuvre? Do you think it would just be able to go, uh, go like no, that, like probably, a normal car? Yeah, he'd probably go up the curb, wouldn't he? he? He would, wouldn't he? So do you, do you think he would maybe need to swing to the side of the road? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Okay. <clears throat> oh, is that why he did it? So he didn't go up the curb. Exactly. Oh. So he would have gone like this to come in. Oh, I see, yeah. That now, makes sense. Yeah. And do we see any bus sign? Oh, we've seen a bus, but do, do we now think we're on a bus route? Definitely. Yeah, definitely, 110%. Would we be able to be here when the bus is there? So if we came up to this junction, would, where do you think we should wait? Would we wait over here? At the giveaway line. At, at the giveaway line. So we see a bus is getting ready to turn in. We're we're not oh. sure what the bus is going to do, and we're let's just say we're back here. We're all the way back here. How would you? How do you feel you would uh, procedure? Would you just go to the? To well, that's bus right. you're, you're supposed to go to the giveaway line and give way, aren't you? We are. Yes, hundred ten percent. However, we want to be. We would want to try and be courteous. We want to. We want to try and understand that other road users can't always do the same thing we can. The, the big bus may not be able to do the same turning a normal car might do. No, yeah, he's yeah. going to have to go wide. Well, he'd just have to wait, wouldn't he? He could do. Do you think maybe we... out, and then he can go in. Is that how it works? I well, I would say maybe for the maybe for this. So the bus is already starting to turn. We don't want him to. We don't want to impede him and stop him from blocking other traffic. Otherwise, no one could get out. He'd be here blocking everyone. We'd be here blocking him, oh. and no one would go anywhere. Oh, what? Wait down there then. Well, well, maybe we could look for signs. We could see what the bus is going to do. We could come to. We could start slowing down, and see what the bus is going to do. So we're going to judge what the bus is doing. We're going to read read his signs. See if he's what starting is, to do. What signs is he? Maybe he'd uh, flash us. Maybe he'd flash us to say we could come. Oh, I see. Maybe he'd give us a little flash. Say, all right, you can come. Maybe we just start to slow down and let him do the manoeuvre, and then Karen. We may not necessarily have to stop. We could just slow the car down so say we're going 20 and we're coming to a stop we could just go slower maybe come to first gear if we had to stop maybe we could stop okay but it's all about if he's already started the maneuver we could just be courteous and give him right of way so but could i wait down there then yeah of course okay oh yeah i could, could have just answered that back then couldn't i yeah yeah so yes we, we could just wait here we could just bring the car to stop okay. here and wait for yeah, him right, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I, I should have said that like ages ago. Um, yeah, so it's quite long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just. Um, Get to the point. Yeah, just. What could. Yeah. Because yeah. originally you asked me, and I said, well, I'd, I'd just come up to the line. And then I'd say, okay, well, if you come up to the line, do you think the bus would get in there? But, well, no, no, he wouldn't. No. Yeah, so his, what would he have to do? I'd have to stop. So now. You've got to give way to him. Is it safe for you to... Oh, oh yeah, I've got to, I'd have to be careful, wouldn't yeah, I? Yeah, because there's a bus there. a motorbike might overtake that bus. Mm. Okay. So what would be a better way that we could maybe avoid that situation? Oh, I don't know. Well, what about if we stop there, Howard, and let him in? Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good idea. Makes sense, yeah. See so how that could... Then that we've done. Oh, but I'll, no. I'll write, so I, I could do that. Yeah, no. Yeah. So if you see him... You could think, oh, I'll anticipate he's going to come wide. I'll hang back, let him in. Then you won't arrive there with a grumpy bus driver. And now you're trying to creep out and you can't see because the bus is blocking your view. Yeah. And a motorbike or a car can whiz him past. And you're going, to, you're going to be in a real... You've put everyone in a difficult situation. Mm. Where it's safer there would just be sit there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Up and up, oh, yeah. Yeah, it is oh, that's a good idea. So you, you could achieve the same outcome. Yeah. Simpler. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Simpler. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So, if I deal with a bus. Yeah. Got it. Got it.
Okay, so we can deal with the bus. Yeah. We can do that. Um, we covered. Okay, so I'm not going to the next bit here. So we were now waiting. So have I gone ahead there now? Have I? What are we on? Because you you started off by saying I was going to drive towards the crossroads and go ahead. Yeah. Is that is that what I? Is there's nothing I need to worry about? Oh, of course. Oh. Yeah. No. Just thinking about this. Do I just sort of just? So, so when driving ahead, yeah. when driving ahead, where do you think we're going to look? So, although we have ahead. priority, we're going to look Just ahead. look at the road ahead. We're not going to worry what these guys here are going to do, so we have a car no, waiting there. because they've got to stop, aren't they? What if they don't stop? Well, they've, they've made a big mistake. Do, do you think we might have, do you think we could anticipate that and maybe um, prepare for it just in case it happened? Yes, yeah, it'd be... Yeah, that would be a good idea, yeah. Yeah, just in case one of them does push out. Uh, what would you rather do? Have to put, put an emergency stop and, and go flying forward because you've had to hit the brakes because someone hasn't thought? Or maybe just anticipate it? Slow down a bit. Exactly. So where would you look now, now that you know well, about I'd look, this? I'd sort of look into the roads to make sure they're stopping, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. And then we could proceed as per normal. Okay. We we'll have to check mirrors or anything before this. Happens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what mirror do you think you'd check before doing anything? So we, we've covered mirrors a few times. So we're approaching uh, all here. All of them? Yes. Yeah, check all of them. Okay. See what's behind you. Do you don't know if a big van is behind you and he's very close to your okay. vehicle? Okay. And we don't want to slow down and then he comes flying into us. No. So okay, yeah. I guess we'd start with a mirror check. Yeah. And then you'd uh So basically what you're saying, if I was driving down the road, yeah, I'd be looking ahead, looking for any warning signs, road markings. Yeah. If I see that as a crossroad, check my mirrors, mm -hmm. ease off and start scanning left and right and proceed because I've got priority. Correct. Is that what you want to see? Yeah. I'm I'm still working on briefings. Yeah. I'm still not very good so at simplifying things. We just we just want to tell them what the plan is. Mm. Or not tell them have a conversation about what the plan is and if I get it wrong correct me but yeah we use what we know like I know about my MSPSL routine so in terms of structuring this just simple brief and going ahead at a crossroads is like so we've talked about identification mm. we did that we've talked about um, understanding priority by looking for signs, warning signs. So on this one, it doesn't exist, and the road marking. So I know the priority, and I know the plan is I'm going to go ahead, so I know what to do. And then we bring, well, how are we going to do that? What's our safety routine when we see a hazard like that? Oh, yeah, I, well, I check my mirrors. Yeah, and why are you doing that? Oh, because there might be things behind. And what about, do you need a signal? Mm, no, because I'm going to go ahead. Um, do you need to do anything with your position? Uh, no, just stay on my side of the road. Okay, well we have got a park car just beyond it, so we might actually start to move our position slightly before it. Oh yeah, no, that makes sense, yeah. Um, speed, what are we going to do with our speed? Um, maybe just ease off a bit, yeah, good. And where are you going to look? Oh, I don't know, just ahead. When are you going to scan left and right? Because people might hear might have missed their warning sign and the road markings and just try and come out. Oh, yeah. So mm. how are we going to know if they're stopping? I don't know. I don't know. I'm stuck. So then the instructor would come in. So, well, we'd look at their speed of their car approaching. See if you can make eye contact. Scan. Look into the car. Look at the driver. If the driver's looking at you, that's a really reassuring sign, isn't it? Mm. That they're going to give way because they've seen you. Of course they have, yeah. And if they didn't, you know, if we, you know, it could, it could happen, Howard. Mm. We might get someone who's just going to come out there and not take effects for observations. No. Then our plan would be to stop. But we've already checked our mirrors, and that's why we've done that. Mm. Um, we could sound our horn as a signal, so we could use a signal to warn them of our presence. So now we've just used MSPSL, our system of, of our safety routine, to go ahead at a crossroads. I see. So I know how to identify it, I know the rules. And I know how I'm going to deal with it using my system, okay. MSPSL. And the, the length I just took to do that is how that would be in the briefing. Okay. Like, what, two minutes? Two minutes, um, yeah. So two, three minutes. Yeah, there'd be a bit of Q&A and a bit of... 
and the pupil gets stuck, so we're filling the gap. And we make them think. We're trying to get that pupil to think. Why the car's stationary? To give them a problem and try and solve it, like the, you did with the bus thing. I wouldn't have covered that bus thing just yet because we're going ahead. I see. At this point, later on, we will be turning right or emerging, and oh. then we will, because then you've delved into emerging, and then we've kind of. To keep it simple, you just want to say, well, we're going to be going ahead, so this is the plan for the ahead. And then break then, it down to a different Then we're going to be briefing. turning right, mm. and then we're going to talk about near side, off side rule, or whatever. Yeah, however you want to So just breaking the briefing down to lots of smaller briefings instead of one larger briefing in the beginning. Yeah, small Bite steps, size. isn't it? Small okay. little bits. But because you started with a briefing of going ahead, yeah, you said we were there, weren't we? We were going to go ahead. Yeah. Well, that's a story. You're telling me a story, and you you kind of moved off the story, and that's why I went. Oh, I thought we were going to go ahead at that one. Well, mm. Is there anything else I need to do about? It? That's why I was bringing you back to finish going ahead, because then I need to emerge and turn right. Then I need to be on the major to minor turning right, and mm. I need to know about what if someone else is turning right. Do I go behind them? in front of them like to deal with near side off side rule because I need to know that's a rule isn't it I it need is. to know about it is, that yeah. and um, yeah yeah do you know what I mean so that, that's how you would just keep it nice and simple and short so that they spend most of their lesson driving I see because then you can practicing because you that's don't where the learning is going to take place isn't it yeah. doing it but we we don't want to just go in it blinds for the reason we said before because if we do they they could misunderstand priority anchor it when they've got priority with a van behind and ugh, and it ends up bad with a rear end shunt it does yeah and everyone like what's going on like say your people going home in tears they know oh, I can't drive I make so many mistakes I'm rubbish which makes sense yeah so um, yeah mm. so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's just taking the briefing, breaking down to a lot of little briefings that are bite sized so they can spend more time driving. Yeah, I definitely think briefing is something I have to do so a lot just, more work on. If I could just borrow your pen. Yeah. Like on here, I would I would think main objectives are I I ID, identification. How are we gonna identify? Um, rules slash priority. How do we know that? Road marking signs will come in, won't they? So we could do a little brackets. Road markings signs. So we've covered that. And then like, kind of like how, how, how do we deal with it? Let's use our safety system, MSP, SL. So now that, those three words, get the ident how are we going to identify it? What are the rules? How we're going to use it? Using our safety system. There's a nice little structure just to go ahead. So you think, well, if we if we break it down, so we're going to do a head. Da, da, da. Then we're going to do left or right, emerging, approaching, left and right, and that's what we do. That little route I showed you had a bit of everything. Then we went it ahead did. at some. We went left at some. I said, oh, this is. If we had a car on coming this way, we'd need to know about the offside, near side rule. So, throughout the course of this lesson, you know, and also when I was showing you, right, I you remember I pulled up and said, just have a little look at this. See, there's a sign up there, and this is where you could just talk about that and explain look, the near side, offside rule. Mm. So, as you go through your lesson, as you go through your route, you introduce new things when it becomes relevant. Mm. So you think, oh, here, this now is, the bus thing could become relevant now because we're emerging and I know the bus comes in here and if it happens, this is what we're going to do. Mm. Oh. And then we go up there, whoa, it happens. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be like, cool, my, my lesson's really going together. <laughs> yeah, cool, yeah. So yeah, we could do that 20 times and the bus never comes. It's true. There is a regular, it's every 15 minutes, this bus. So there's a good chance if we kept going around here, sooner or later we're going to oh, have that situation and expose our learner to that, that situation. And then, because they've done it, they, they feel confident. 
with your help, they think, oh, yeah, that went well. I did that mm. well, didn't I? That was yeah. like, the bus driver gave us a big thumbs up, and he was like, yeah, nice one. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I did that. Yeah, so then yeah, we go yeah. and do it again, and you know, maybe in three weeks' time, well, you know, when we're doing something else, I come up to a crossroads, and that happens. I go, yeah, and no, I learned that, because you told me, I remember what you said. And you think, oh, do you know what, that guy's got, he's learned that. He's like, he's... He's he's got it. Yeah. When he passes his test, he's gonna he's gonna he gets that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, um, yeah. say oh, I'm um, right. I won't rub that off because you might want to take a picture, make a note. But that's how you can structure. Actually, that's that's you know. a really good idea. Because with, with these further. with these pre-prepared um, slides, if you like, this is like a PowerPoint slide where they've revealed everything all at once. It is, yeah. That's like what you'd see at the end of a presentation because oh, everything's shit. been revealed. Well, what order did they tackle that? Did they, like here, that top left, it's talking about going ahead, MSPSL, where to look, and all the things we just sort of talked about. And I think you're looking at it thinking, well, where do I start? And that's it is your... a bit like that. That's, that's when, when I'm planning a lesson, I'm thinking about things. It, there's a lot of stuff. So... I think in my head that I have to put that all into one briefing and get that out. Yeah, you see, the, these are like key notes for you just to think, all right, yeah, I could talk about that. But in, in terms of your lesson plan and oh, your route, you think, you that. know, I'm going to go ahead first. So I just talk about that bit and we'll go do it. Yeah. And then, do you know, that went well. I'm going to do a right at the next one. So what now? What do we need to talk about? I've done rights before, but what if someone else is turning right? Which makes sense. And that probably won't happen, to be fair, would it? No, no, it's I mean, real unlikely. We'd have to be here a long time before... I mean, it's barely ever have, happened but, to me. But when it happens, I need to, I need to know this. what the rules are. And if we miss that, uh, I'd be like, oh, I don't... There we go, I'm actually going to get a picture of that, because that's really handy. So I have, like, a, a thing, I have a portfolio I put together of things I, I work on. See, that makes sense just, to me. That I'll makes... just put it on there, just so anyone watching this can sort of see. We've got the crossroads. Yeah. These are the pre-prepared notes, um, but we've just talked about this going ahead and breaking it down into mm. to identify the rules and how to do it MSPSL. So there you go. All right, so you can see that as well. Okay. All right. So um. So yeah. So now, so I've been briefed on okay. the heads, and yeah, let's go do that. Okay. And like so, in real terms, that briefing would have just been very short, wouldn't it? That'd have been two minutes, three minutes. About of, that, yeah. And I'll be oh, okay, yeah. So I'm just gonna, I know how to recognise it. I know, I and I can see road markings. I get that, and I'm gonna check my mirrors. I'm gonna scan. People might not give way; they should. But I'm gonna be making eye contact and just ready to stop in case. Maybe even sound the horn. Mm -hmm. I've got a plan in place to deal with that using MSPSL. And then if it's all good, I carry on. Yeah. Pull up. Then we're gonna do briefing on turning right. I see. For example. Or you could do ahead and then right as a one briefing, two little briefings, and then go do the two junctions. You know, depends how your pupil is and just be aware that you don't want to overload them if they're looking a bit overwhelmed by it all then just <laughs> little steps I think I'll stick to the little steps so I can get my head around it so when I'm planning lessons in the future I can I can do it that way because I can break it down so much more uh, I just think that's a better way for me to learn and for me to teach okay so we've had my briefing on going ahead now we're going to do it okay. so now we go from briefing explanation EDP, explanation, demonstration, no, you could offer it. I don't want one. I want no. to go on to practice. Yeah. I don't feel I, I would benefit from that. I just want to do it. Yeah. Um, so now we go into practice mode. And so what level of instruction would you agree with your pupil? Well, Am I expected to remember everything from the briefing? No, or no, of you course help not. Me or... But it's, a, again, a conversation, uh, it's a conversation, an agreement yeah. between you and the pupil about how, what level of instruction they would like. Normally, as a new subject, traditionally, it would be, well, I'll talk you through mm. for the first one, then let me get on with it on the second, third, maybe. Depends if I'm getting it right or not. Which makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, OK, well, let's do that. All right, so we're, done, go. we're going back in roles. So ha I've had my briefing. Got it. Right. Yeah. Understood. OK. 
Okay, Howard, um, we're going to go give it a go now. Um, so we, we have spoken a bit about this. So how would you like uh, how would you like help with this then? Um, maybe like you normally do, just talk me through the first one. Okay, yeah, let's do that. That sounds good. If, so when you're ready, uh, please stop the car and get yourself ready to move off. Okay. And what what uh, what routine are we going to take before moving off? Um, the pom routine. Correct. Yes. So we're going to do pom. I'm just going to move, just okay. because I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> I'll tell you in a second. I'm just going to move up here. Just a second. That lady who came in a couple, well, probably about more than a couple of weeks ago, four weeks ago, I was just there doing something similar. I think we were doing moving off and stopping. And she got out of her car and she was like ranting. And I thought she was just shouting at a kid or something. And she was like, bloody hell, what's going on? And, um, and then me and the instructor looked and thought, do you know what, I think that was directed at us because we're outside our house. I think, and I, 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 we kind of both come to the conclusion, I think I think she was having a go at us then, even though she weren't looking at us. She was just, oh, give, give it. So I, I just had a flashback. I saw her, I thought, oh, do you know what? Don't want to upset her, antagonise her. We'll just move up here then. She's like, but she, yeah, we weren't blocking her driveway. And we, just, we were just outside our house doing like a, you know, probably about 15 minutes having a chat about something we're about to do. She got, she got a bit tetchy. Yeah. Oh. Maybe, it's just a, it's, this is um, an area where tests are conducted, so there's a high density of learners. I've um, seen a she lot just, of learners. Yeah, she was yeah. at the end of a tether. You know, you don't know what's just happened to her before. She could have been stuck behind the, the 15th learner driver she's in a rush to get home and she's like no another one <laughs> and then no 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 so I'm a house and that's it I've had enough <laughs> so you don't we don't know do we, we don't what, know and, no, and, and by no. pretty sure she was a bit annoyed so we moved and that's why I've just done that that okay we're not out to wind the public up even though they think we are we're not <laughs> so, so um yeah, sorry about it. I just had to mention that because that's quite Yeah, worthy. it's fine. So, okay, okay, and before we get going, we need to talk about the risk. How, how are we dealing with the, that? Oh, of course, risk. The um, biggest big thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We it forget is. that. You know, so agreeing the level of instruction, great. And then agreeing the level of risk, of course. But what if, what if, what if? Okay. What would you do? Because we need to establish that at the beginning of a lesson or okay. the beginning of a phase of a lesson. We're doing something different. Um, it should just be, you know, discussed. Okay, yeah, so that idea. I know yeah. that you've got my back, basically. That there is, there's a, if I was on a little, what's it called? When you walk along a little tightrope, a um, net. Yeah, that, you know. Safety net. There's a safety net, that's safety it. Net. I want to just know that, Okay. You know, if, if if a bus pulls out in front of me, that, oh, what am I doing? That you have got my back. Okay, it's a good idea. Well, it's essential. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's essential. Because, you know, we're, we are, we're not just preparing you for your test, we're preparing you for real life. And, and look, we did talk, I, don't, I can't remember if it was off camera or on camera, but your biggest threat is getting rear-ended. Yeah. You know, um, and being aware of the situation, how you're going to deal with risk, will reduce that risk significantly, just when you're doing something new. It's a good idea. Okay. Okay, um, so, uh, when the green risk, because my mind always gets a bit lost here, so when a green risk, it's, because it's, it's client-centred, but of course, I'm basically just, well, all, all I would say, yeah. So, okay, uh, for example, okay, how? So we've done the briefing on um, the crossroads. Mm. So, any questions? I went up. No, no, it's fine. Okay, so we're going to go move off in a second, and I want you to go ahead at the first crossroads. So, what level of help would you like from me? Um, or can you talk me through? Again? Okay, so I'll be talking you through like when to check your mirrors, mm. easing off, scanning. Now, what about if we get a situation where someone's pulling out in front of you and how are we going to deal with that? Oh, um, well, I'll stop. Okay, good. So you'll stop. Brilliant. Um, or what else could you do? I could say my horn. Yeah. Okay. If, if um, you're not 
dealing with that situation, I'll intervene verbally. I'll tell you what to do, which I okay. will be talking you through anyway. So that, yeah. that should take care of that. But if, you have, if there is a situation you know, that we haven't planned for today and someone just finally pulls out in front of you or whatever, then as you know, I've got my dual controls. So I could always intervene physically and, and bring the car to a stop if I need mm-hmm. to. See. Or if it was a steering issue, you're getting too close to an object, I could come in. Is that all right? I'll be like, that's fine. Mm. Done. Okay. That's, that's, we've just managed our risk. Okay. We've just agreed a plan. Because how can you guarantee that this is going to go to plan? No, and, you can't. And a little kid on a bike is not going to go shooting across, or this van door is just going to open. Oh. Or, or, you know, we don't know what's going to happen, you know. No, we don't. Uh, you, you know, we could predict a lot of things, but I just need to know that if that happens, that you would you would help me. You'd yeah, intervene yeah, of course, verbally of or physically and keep me safe. That you're not just expecting me just to cope with it on my own. Like, oh, what am I doing? And suddenly break and get rear-ended. And, oh. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So we just want to know we're agreeing our plan with our people. Really important. Really important. When you come to do part three, it's a pass fail thing. It get, is. Get yeah. less than eight on a, on the risk, you're done. You know. So um, and and for the, and it's it, it's for that reason in the test. So when you're an instructor, you are managing risk because we you you have got the duty of care to your pupil to keep them safe, um, and members of the public. So that's that's why it's weighted so heavily on a on a part three or a standards check. Which makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's you know, safety first. And of that. course it so is, yeah. So if we forget that bit, out, it'd be like going on an airplane and then forgetting to tell us what the drill is with the, if it, you know, we're <laughs> down towards the sea. <laughs> where they didn't tell us where the life jackets are. Well, I no. think they're under the sea. Oh, where were they? Oh, no, they you know, all of that. We just, even though if we've heard it, we still need to know <laughs> that for this particular phase of the lesson that th- there's a plan and if things go wrong we know what's going on mm. okay yes yeah, so um so shall i let you do that then yeah, so, yeah. You know, we've done the briefing because oh, i reckon you're practicing on that yeah yeah so if you do the whole thing you know agree the level of instruction do it from the top so we've just done the briefing and we're going to go ahead, and, but you've got to tell me all this thing. You've got to agree what the okay. plan is. Okay, so had, um, we're going to go off and do this now. Uh, okay. I'm going to give us a bit of practice. Um, how how much help would you like from me? Um, do you mind talking me through for like the first one or two? Just yeah. how you normally do that helps. Yeah, definitely. And uh, what would you do if um, someone pulls out in front of you you see a kid? If I see a kid... Or a kid or crossing the road, like running from the road or anything well, like that. stop. Uh, yeah, good, good. Now, don't if want I, to run him over. No, you definitely don't, 110%. No. Now, if uh, if I feel that um, you, you're not reacting to it, I will come in verbally and let you know, okay? Okay, yeah. However, if maybe that... Because I'll be giving you instruction anyway. Yeah. However, yeah. let's just say that that's not coming through. Then what I'll do is I will come in and I will stop with the my dual controls. Oh yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, however, if it is more of a steering thing, I, I may come in and steer for you as well. Should I need to? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. So you won't let me crash, basically. No, no. Right. Are you happy with all that? Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Is it all right? Or... I don't know. Yeah, practice it because it could be more natural. Mm. You know. It feels I'm a bit gonna, uncomfortable for it, you. It, it just is a bit uncomfortable a for me, yeah. yeah. I was a bit lost, but well, yeah, it, it, it was just... It's, it's, hard, it's hard to... It's like tone of voice and how you say it is... That's quite complicated, isn't it? Mm. And with practice, you'll just have that as a conversation. So, right, you know, as, as always, Howard, you know, you know, we're doing something new, so, you know, if, if a situation arises, I think you're not dealing with it, I'll verbally intervene like I normally do. Mm. And, it, and if there's no time for safety reasons, I'll just come in physical. You know, right. might, that might be pressing the brake or coming in for the wheel if I think you're going to hit something. I'll be like, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so, but I hope that won't happen. I'm going to talk you through. Let's do it. Okay. Chat. Just Not a so nice quick. little conversation. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go practice that a lot more. Okay. Cool. cool. All right, yeah, so... um. 
Uh, yeah. Maybe so. <laughs> I guess uh, how do, uh, when you're ready, um, please stop the car and get ready. And you remember the uh, procedure we're going to use for moving off? Yeah. Fantastic. Right, so we're coming up to the uh, crossroad now. Do, as you can see, we've got a car parked to our left. So, where are you going to look? So, we're going to. In the road. Fantastic. In the three roads. So, keep going, keep going. There we go, you're, you're doing well, you're doing well. And we've got our oncoming car and oh, a car oh, to what our I left. About this? Okay, so just come to the left here. So, don't stop where we are now just oh, uh getting to first gear slowly come to our left he, here he would that he's going to come out now so he would have naturally waited for us oh but it, it's good that we're you're seeing this and reacting he to reversed it out of his driveway. he was oh, he reversing thanks, it though. thank you yeah right? very very yeah he's very uh, grateful oh. so steer to your uh, right slightly here just stay center of the road come back into our left. left and pull up to the left when you're when safe to do so please Yes, fine. So just after that. So I'm out, Roll. So there, there you go. The what if? We didn't predict that. No. no we didn't no. know a car just after that crossroads was going to reverse we out didn't, and no. cause an oncoming car to slow down and stop. No. We did not know that. We didn't. And your people wouldn't know what to do. They would have just ploughed on there. Perhaps I should have done. Mm. But I'm like, oh, and I, I don't, and I need direction. Of course. Be like. You know, and I've already stopped, so it's not, uh, you know, you kind of like... I was like, oh, I But, I, you know, fair, he was looking at me, and he I'm was. thinking, well, we're making eye contact, and he's he's probably thinking, do I look at you? Do I look at him? That, what, there's confusion, wasn't there? Yeah. And now we didn't, you know, I didn't make that happen. <laughs> that is just what happens. That is it? just what happens. So, um, so there you go. So there's the what if. That's why we have the safety. So how does that work? Exactly. Quite nice now. Yeah. I'm thinking, oh, no, that's good. So, that's, so we need a plan for that kind of stuff. Exactly. Um, so let's just review what we've done. So I went ahead at the crossroads. Correct. Now you were given give me what level of instruction? Uh, full instruction. Okay. How did that go? Not very well. Okay. Did you tell me to check my mirrors? No. Did you tell me to scan left and right? No, I was questioning you instead of ah. telling you. And that's why I went wrong. So you went to a prompted level of instruction. Yeah. And I had to think about it. And while I thought about it, what did I do? You slowed down dramatically. Slowed right down. Because so I thought, oh, dangerous. Like, I'll be really cautious here. And I was almost feeling like a giveaway, wasn't I? Almost, yeah. We were very so busy. our instruction, you know, to avoid that needs to be positive. And te that's why we've... That's why... You have agreed a full talk through. So, like, Howard, check your mirrors, scan left and right, just ease off the go. Don't break, don't break, get back, you know, d just t just take, like, what, mm. what are you doing on your brake? Like, come off the brake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and gonna just squeeze that gas and drive through. Now we've got a car re reversing out of here, just check your mirrors and come to a stop. Just stop, make eye contact with him because he's looking at you, not me, he's looking at you. Okay, what's he doing? He's gonna reverse out, okay, so that's good, well done, Howard. The car, mm. is it safe? Yeah, okay, and then I go there, do a little thank you, done. That's how that, I see. Oh, yeah, we should go because mm. then it's you're instructing me and just helping me out because I would have just intervened and said, like, just come into a stop here rather than because the car on the other side stopped for the car reverse now. He did, yeah, he might go for it, mightn't he? He might do, yeah. So I'm just anticipating that and thinking, oh, I'll stop, because in case he does. Mm. And I'm not in any danger. I've got no one behind. No, 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 no. I was checking. There was no one behind. And, um, and that's why we check the mirrors before the hazard. So if stuff like that happens, we've already checked. And of course, I didn't, because I wasn't instructed to. I just like, oh, no. No, no, no. And I knew what was behind. I have to do this safely. I do, in my peripherals, I know there's a, a black car coming up here. Um without staring in my mirror I can see that you know just looking ahead I know there's a red car behind me in my peripheral vision in this mirror I can just see a red car I couldn't That's tell you what right. make it is but I know there's a red car no 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 of course and so um so 
I can be aware of things through peripheral, but of course you want me to be like... Yeah, I'm checking, checking through everything, yes, yeah, so definitely. Yeah, okay. So, um... So we've gone ahead. And I would pull him up here, because there was something to talk about. There was. Like, oh, do you know what? I got a bit confused with the old car reversing out. We need to discuss that so I fully understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... All oh, right, yeah. Okay, we can't go around the block and make that happen again. But next time it does, I've kind of hopefully taken something away from that and think, all oh, right, you know, yeah, I get that. Mm. Yeah, that other car, he stopped, so he might have. Yeah, he might have gone. So yeah, it's pretty wise to stop there. Yeah, I get that. Um, whereas if I'd just gone ploughing through, I could have quite easily had him just bash straight into the side of my you car. We could have. Yeah, yeah. I thought he saw me. Well, clearly he didn't. <laughs> You can't rewind that. You can't rewind that, no. So let's, we want to teach them to be cautious and think about the eye contact and that interaction with other road users. That's more level four of the uh, national standards. Mm. You know, driving in the traffic system, that's sort of that interaction with road users and anticipation planning stuff. Okay, so um, anyway, now... We're good. We need to cover a briefing on turning right, don't we? Yeah. Because we've got another crossroads ahead. <clears throat> to be fair, in this lesson, I'd probably get him to go ahead again and just do a couple of dry... You know, based on what I've just seen there, you'd want him to get going ahead, sorted, wouldn't you? Yeah, we would, we would, yeah. Mirrors, easy enough, scanning left and right, yeah, they've got that magic uh, before moving on. But let's cool. say, because of time constraints and we do need to do a right turn we do yes because I'd, i i need to know about what if if i'm turning right and there's another car turning right how do i do that yeah we do so how just wave to them how confident do you feel to do that briefing or would you like me to help you and show you that briefing. I want to give it, can I give it a shot? Can I really give it a shot? Like, I really want to try. Like, I don't, I feel like I need to at least give it a really good shot because I'm going to look back at this and I can take so many notes from it and just go this and this and this and this and this. Cool. So, that's the way I want my head to work. I want to be going home and thinking, going, even if I do really badly and I don't care, I just want to know I've tried. You know, let's do it. All right. So cool. there's our crossroads is there where that black car is emerging. Yeah. From right. Um, and I'll give you a little heads up. Now we did just drive this previously before going on camera. We did. We did. When we turned right, I don't know if you recall when we the road we're going to go into. Can you remember if there was a centre white line down that middle of the road? I don't remember at all. I'm going to be. There honest. wasn't. There wasn't. The, there's. Double car, did you see that? That red car just opened the door in front of that bus. And the bus had to stop. Literally, that. Oh, the person in the that fluorescent guy, he jacket. He just yeah. threw his door open as the bus was squeezing past, and the bus has done that. So all his passengers have fallen over. Because that guy's just. Has slung unlocked, his, yeah. Slung his door open in front. Because it's not, you can't really criticise the bus driver for not leaving clearance. Because he didn't have it. No, it's a and bus. And so he, he went slowly past the car, slow, and then the door opened. And he had to just touch the, well, nudge the brakes, and it was a bit of a stop like that. It was. Well, I didn't act. I was getting yeah. ready to do the briefing. You know, I just <laughs> again. So I'm listening to you, but you know, you do. You sit here and you think you're you're kind of just aware. I've got. I mean, I've got three mirrors. You've only got that little one, but I'm just like, ooh, do you see that? <laughs> All right. It's fun times. These are, uh, yeah, people are interesting. I thought they do. Um, yeah. I yeah. The bus driver was too happy about it. No, 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 no. The little old lady that's just fallen over on the bus. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what was I saying? Turning right, though, there was no centre white. There line. was no centre. Double white. give way lines the whole way across. Think about that because that is. There's a potential banana skin, isn't there? Because yeah, I mean, they, they could view it as a, as a one-way road, couldn't they? That's and that's it. the issue. But we know it's not a one-way road. We know. You know. But the learner doesn't. Um, we will see. My, so, how do I tackle so that? Knowing, <laughs> well, <laughs> now you know try. that, and this is why route planning is so important, 
important to, yeah. when you deliver lessons to know that. Because if you know that, you know the potential, you can anticipate your pupil can do that wrong and because you know it. And you're one, you're always staying. They often say, often say being a driving instructor is like being a parent. You you gotta be one two steps ahead. You know, you gotta know they're gonna jump out in front of that bloody car or open the car door. And you go, hey, right, bang in a minute, kids. Boy, you take them seatbelts off. Do not open them doors. We're on a busy road, you're getting out of that side. You go climb over. That's what you do as a parent. Yeah. Well, oh, I don't know. Oh, come on, kids, yeah. get out, and they all just. I all the doors open. You're like, oh my god! Just you just made that bus do an emergency stop. Mm -hmm. That's we're thinking ahead. We are all the time. Like game of chess. Yeah, two steps, two three steps ahead. That's where your mind's got to be. Just gonna... So that's why route planning. I know I've said it before. Route planning. You cannot underestimate it. You got to know where you're taking your pupil what it looks like, what the problems are, and, and be proactive and be ahead of them. Because when you're not, that's where you get your problems. You think, oh, I didn't think that would happen. Whew. Right, okay, so, um, enroll, whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm gonna give this a shot. Um, I wasn't expecting that, but, because I didn't plan, <laughs> This is the first route I've ever we've, we've gone together where I haven't actually, it's not my roots. It's, well, it's I did ask you, have you planned some crossroads and you said you wouldn't have a clue where to go to. In this area, I actually struggled quite a bit, yeah. But you know, if you go on Google, like, cause you you text me where, when, what are we doing? And that was some days ago. It was, and yeah. And you Googled NR7 near to where we were going to start. Yeah, I didn't. Looked them up. I didn't do this one as, as well as I normally do routes. Yeah. When you start, I, I'm not going to be sending you routes where to go with every people for every lesson. That would be your job. No, no, you're right, 110%. I know Norwich quite well as well, so it's very, that's a bit, yeah. uh, it's, it's more of my own letdown really than anything else. So it's, it's fine, it's, okay. it's, it's something yeah, so you learn from. Don't underestimate route planning, know where you're going, do your people justice. Oh, well. So yeah. they get a good lesson. That's, that's not going to happen again for sure. I'm just trying to. Th I'm just looking at the briefing. Uh, right. My little phone beep then. Yeah. More than yours. Near side, offside. Near side, offside. Of course, yes. I've, I've, I've got this. I think I've got this in my head now. So right. let's, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a oh, shot. Let's have a little glance. Christ, it's quarter past. Right. So we. we You'll only really get time to do this briefing because it's quarter past. All right. And uh, yeah, we're done at half. Let's see if I can do it in two minutes. Let's see if I can okay. do the briefing in two minutes. Well, yeah, you've got more than two minutes. Have five minutes. I want to be. I want to get good at doing briefings in small times. Of course, I don't want to rush a briefing, but I don't want to over-explain briefings. I really want to try and get rid of that habit. Okay. And that's something I'm really struggling with, so I need to All nip right, in yeah. the bud. Okay, so. Um, okay, Howard. At the crossroad ahead, we're going to be turning right, okay? Okay, yeah. So, we are here now, we're here, and we're going to go into this road, okay? Do it to my perspective. Okay, so, we're going ahead. What I mean is, there. Oh, of course. Like clear. reading the map, you yeah. wouldn't let me read a map upside no, down. No, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I understand that, sorry. Okay, Howard, so we're going ahead, we're going to go yeah. turn right at the next crossroad, okay? Okay, yeah. So, we are here now. And we're going to turn right into here. Okay. However, this crossroad is is is, is very different from a normal one. Oh. In, in the sense that it doesn't have middle white lines, and it has two what sets of giveaway like, lines. What? No middle white lines. Oh here, yeah, or? but here. So oh, in, in this there, road, okay. yeah, right, okay. there's no middle white lines, oh. and it has two sets of giveaway lines on both sides. Oh, I see. Yeah. So I what know. would you normally associate that with? Um. Well, if it's, if it's like that, this is a two-way road mm -hmm. with a middle white line. And if it's like that, then that would just be like a... Well, no, that would be... That's being no entry, wouldn't it? Because you can only come out. You'd think that. so, wouldn't you? Yeah. So I can't go down. Are you tricking me? <laughs> I can't go down. <laughs> I, I, I promise you I'm not tricking you. Oh. No, this, this is definitely a two-way road. Okay. It's just marked... It's just, it's just the way the markings are, that there's no middle lines there, 
And if I remember correctly, it's a slightly narrow road as well. Okay. And they've got uh, two sets of giveaway lines. So, knowing that information, now that we know that, how do you feel you're going to go in? How do you feel you're going to tackle that? Because we've done turning Well, if it's two-way, then I'll, I'll sort of pretend there's a middle line and go in like I normally would. Correct, yeah. yeah. Fantastic, yeah. Okay. You'll be teaching me soon. <laughs> sure. yeah. Okay, so norm we know uh, what we're going to do. So what are you going to do before going into it? Where are you going to check? Turning right, I check my s mirrors. Yes. And Centre right mirror. Correct. Yeah. What would you do next? Mirrors. Put a signal. Yep, and then what are you going to do then? Position. Correct. Speed, gear, look. And then you're going to move into the road. Yeah. Fantastic. So we, we really know what to do then, okay? We know so what I just look do. ahead and in the right, like I normally do when I turn right. Look ahead to the right. Yes. That's what I normally do. But you need to look at the road to the left. Well, do you think you don't? What do you I think? Know. Well, I've only ever, I've not done crossroads before, so normally... If I was turning right, I'd look ahead and right and turn in. Do you feel that there might be a hazard coming from the left-hand side? Or? Potentially, yeah. If someone didn't give way, yeah. So would we want to look to the left? Probably would be a good idea. Exactly. So I should then? Yes. Oh, OK. Correct, you should. So out of roll, see... See how you, that You're missing be. a key point, I and see. I'm like, oh, hang on a minute. We look, Rala. Heard of Rala? Rala. Have you heard of that, Rala? We, I have. Uh, we spoke about earlier, right, Rala. Right ahead... Left, left. Rala. So, Rala, I left just got to remember to right. So, we're, we're basically, forget, don't worry too much about Rala. We're looking at all three roads. Of course. That's the course key message. Are. Where I want to look into that one, that one, and that one, because it's crossroads. Uh, traffic lights on green. Do I just go ahead, because it's green, and assume nothing's coming? Or do I look and scan still when I'm going? Just like I did at that one. I said exactly. still be looking in three roads, because there's potential risk in each road. And that's why it's important, yeah. Yeah, so that is key. See, this is what I wanted to try, because I knew if I get something wrong, then I can, yeah. I can think about it. So where am I going to look? Well, that's where I'm going to look, because that's different. There's an extra road to my normal junctions that I've done before. Which makes sense. Okay, so yeah, all right. So, okay, I'm going to look left as well. I wouldn't have done yeah. that. Poor, oh, no. Yeah, okay, so get that. So, we'll do rather, we're going to look left, Ahead and then right. Okay. Okay. So we've done that. We know it. What happens if we've done that? Now we're coming up. We're getting ready to turn. I'm just going to get my road position right. We're coming up here. We've performed our uh, MSPSL. We've done yep. roller. We've looked. Turn in. Go on my side. And you're that going point. in on your side. Yeah. Yep. Fantastic. Got that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Brilliant. That's good. Yeah. I'm trying to think of anything of anything else. Because you'd, well, you'd know about cars there, and we'd know about oncoming traffic, yeah. so what else would I need to cover in that briefing? I mean, Are you out of roll? Yeah, out of roll. What about the near side, off side roll? That's side. what I want to know about. Near side. Yeah, I, I'm trying to run that through my head. Um, of course, because... Do you want me to do it? Just I'm just trying you? to think, just yeah, because I'm looking at it coming in like that, and... He would go to his near side, and we'd be turned to okay, outside. Okay, I, I don't think you understand. Uh, yeah, because I'm trying to what? understand how okay. you mean with that. Right, because okay. I understand if we're coming like this, that I understand. Let me show you. Yeah. I'll but doing quick. it from the main road confuses me a bit. So, if now, roll reversal. I'm the instructor, you're the pupil. Mm. And, yeah, so... So you just think how you are now. This is how your pupils will be. They don't know this rule. And they won't know what to do. So I'm going to go oh, through it see. with you. Yeah, because it, it's so difficult when you're thinking about doing it from the other perspective. Because you're coming from two junctions. Well, let me, let, me just, let, me just, let me just go through it. And, and then that'll be that. Okay, so right, I'm going to start to your pupil. Okay, right, so we've dealt with the routine for turning right. Yeah. Very good. What about... Just going to give you a scenario. We're preparing to turn right, so that's us, us position left of centre. Yeah. And coming ahead here is a car, like a mirror image of us. So we're, we're signalling to turn right, and so is he. So he's going to be going in there, we're going to be going in there. So, question. We've got two choices. Well, we've got three, actually. Let's go through the three choices. Do we, A, OK, 
come up here, so let's say we've moved a little bit closer to the junction, do we turn in in front of him and go in like that? And often we call that as if we think about the size of the car, if we've got near side, because it's nearest to the curb, mm -hmm. and that's the off side. So this one is um, near side, near side, or easier just to think of it as we're going in front. So would we go in front of that car, or, let me just rub that out, or well, our second option, should we drive on a little bit further and go round the back? What would you think would be the safest option? Well, the second one. Okay, good. Why? Because we have less... Uh, well, we're not going to crash into each other. It's as simple as that, really. We're not going to hit each well, other. Well, we shouldn't crash in front of each other going in front. Um, because he's going to turn in there and we're turning... Ah, uh, we can there. see what's coming. Ah, so there you go. So, yeah, so if we... So, that would say here... Yeah. If we're turning in, we've got nothing in front of us, have we? No, Nothing's correct. obscuring our vision. Whereas if we turn in front, we've got a car obscuring our vision. If it was a van, it'd be really bad when you couldn't see anything. And if it was a bus, you'd be like, I can't see nothing. So um, so we want to go around the back. I'll take a picture of that, actually. Because that's a really good learning point for me. It's uh, really handy to know. There we go. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. And the other... Just said there's the big advantage of vision, but the other advantage, if you let's just draw it back the other way, if we're trying to go in front, like that, so he's he's trying to go in there, we can't see. So there is a risk of some like a motorbike whipping round the back. Mm -hmm. And then let's say he turns, so he's seen it's clear, he's turned. And we've already started to turn our wheels and creep because we're edging forwards because we can't see. So we're turning our wheels and we're creeping over the centre point of the road. So now we've put our car at an angle across there. What's the danger of doing that? Um, Let's say that van, that yodel van we saw earlier. Just oh, he thinks, could oh, I just nip through there and oh, he just clips our car. Where where are we going with our wheels turned across the oh, road? Oh, we're going the opposite side of the road. We're going to get pushed in front of whatever's coming. Let's just hope it's not a motorbike. Yeah. Because we'll kill him, won't we? Yeah, we will. So, and, and 